There. I think we can see. All right, boys. I've seen enough videos on lapping valves the wrong way and people going way too fast with a drill. Now I'm going to show you how I have a lot of good success doing this. I've been doing it for 40 years. I'll bet you right here that one with the number six on it is probably well over the thousandth valve I have lapped in my life. Okay? First thing you do, you take this thing, see it? I see a lot of guys take one end off, chuck this up in the drill. First thing you do with this, chuck it. Now, here is the best driver and you go slow watch this I'm gonna pull it back see if you can see my thumb this is as fast as I go right here just like that even slower all right let me turn it back so you can see what's going on with the valve face make sure we're in no I am not resting the weight of that drill on that valve it's, I got a screwdriver handle under it's no stress. Alright, let's put a line here so you can really see how slow it's going. Paint stick. There you go, right there. See it? Yeah, you can see it. Could be a little better, I guess. Oh, well. Watch how slow this thing turns. And I'll show you my whole technique here, because I do a little something different. Now, you start slow like this. And you don't really have to pull much on the drill. Just keep a little tension there. Nothing serious. That's about it right there. It's as fast as I'll run it. Now, I'm going to the right. Here's what I'm going to do before I change direction. I'm going to squeeze it right to the bar. Fast. Watch. What that does is it spreads out the compound that I've used back to the edge of the valve and now and you'll notice this when you push it out you'll see a big old ribbon in here then you pull back do this slow about like that after about 30 seconds give it a fast squeeze again and this time I'll pick the camera up and show you what you get when you do that let's see here if we can make this work there it is now I want you to watch as that valve comes out watch how much stuff can you see it it's like a see that that's all now redistributed and I can still it'll still be effective it's not all over the inside the cylinder back The main thing with your speed is to stay consistent. Wow, it's like a blanket coming out of there. Yes, you will hit it too hard, I still do. Just slow it down immediately. You'll be fine. Nothing to panic about. You want to stop when you can feel the vibration going away in your hand from the grit in there. And I, I shorten it as I know I'm getting pretty good on the seat. About done. Still a ton of compound to use. One more time.
Well, that's it. One more time because my battery just croaked. Now, unchuck it out of your drill. <coughs> there she goes. Didn't have it real tight in there, but hands are getting old. Anyway, fellas, let me wipe this out and then I'll show you what a nicely flat valve should look like. These are 289 Ford heads, by the way, with 194 Chevy valves in them. Nice small combustion. This is going to make the young man I'm doing this for about 350 horse. And all we had to do to these was clean up the valve seats and the valves themselves. Should clean this stuff good. Get a little get a little brake clean on there. Or carb cleaner, whatever you prefer. I like brake cleans cheaper, usually. I also see a lot of guys hitting these things the whole valve with Scotch Bright. 800 grit paper, 1,000, that, all that does, there's a coating down here, see it? All that does is damage that valve. You're hurting, hurting it. Look, that right there is all you need. That's pretty clean. A little bit of stuff there on the edge ain't going to hurt because the most important part is about from here just to the top of the shiny mark. We don't care what's on this side. I did clean it and I marked it because that's the one that was six in line. Stop going so fast. I see guys running these things like this. Well, you know what I mean, full bore. All you need is right here, look. Maybe that much. Somewhere there and in between nothing. About an eighth of an inch. They'll work out better. Here's a picture. Here's a picture of a seat. Let me, not a picture, here's one of the seats. Let me get my light. See? See how pretty? These are ones I've already done, same method. And here's my valves. They're all in order. That's important on the valves. Rocker arms, if you're using new push rods, don't matter. Okay? 40 years of experience. Anyway, have fun. Enjoy your next project. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care if you do or not. Here you go. There's, the, there's good info for you. Have a good night, all.